Hi, this is Android Vic Lab, and today we have ZTE Grand Mimo. It's a really big, big smartphone. As you can see, it fits all the screen, and it's a 5.7 inch screen, and it's the biggest battery you can have on an Android smartphone. And uh, it's the definition. It's not the definition of port portability, but you have a great phone with a great screen, with a big screen in low price, and if all that is what you want it's really a good choice well if you cannot afford the 5 inches premium smartphones this smartphone may be for you it's 5.7 inches and the screen is really big it's one of the main reasons to buy that phone so it has an HD screen with 275 uh, 57 pixels per inch it's it's good it's the quality of the screen is really good it's really bright and uh, here you can see we have the brightness on on the auto section not if you put the brightness at full it's really bright and it's really beautiful and you can see movies and watch some photos and um, browse the net and play games it's re it's really good to play games with this phone because everything is really huge and uh, this phone has a bare screen. It, this screen is close to Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and uh, it's better than Samsung Mega, the other huge smartphone by Samsung, but it's not as good as Samsung Galaxy S4 or Xperia Z or Huawei Ascend D2. And um, well, another reason to buy that phone is the battery. It's a great big battery, 3000 to 3000. And 3200 milliampere battery and it's on the top of the market along with Samsung Mega this phone has have the biggest batteries of the market so you have a lot of power to do things but you don't have a, a battery up if you go to the battery section all you can see is this menu and you won't see some um, battery options to save some battery as there are in other phones so let's now see the camera. The camera is, is um, 8 megapixels and in some markets this the camera is 13 megapixels. Here it's the 8 megapixel model. So the camera is not as good as other phones with uh, the same uh, megapixels. Uh, I like this little setting that allows you to control the light on the photo and it's it's really useful and it's really easy to use and this is the zoom and you can zoom in and zoom out and it's it's really useful to have these settings here and you can control them very easily and there are some other settings here and there are not some scenes you can select scenes on that phone and you can only play with the white balance or the exposure but they're not scene selection like other other phones and you can take videos and also panoramas as or android phones it's it's uh, it's not the best camera we have ever seen but we like these features here in in the menu so one other thing we like a lot it's the notification bar you can control all main functions of the phone from this notification bar and it's, it's really easy to open the Wi-Fi or the GPS with just one click it's, re it's really useful and other phones like Nexus 4 don't have that notification bar and we really like it one other thing we really love is this widget this is the, the weather widget it's really beautiful and it's it's clean and we, we like it a lot and it really works you can see what the weather uh, in a really beautiful way and you can see it here also well it's a beautiful weather gadget well the design of this phone is not really bright it's plastic you have uh, some metallic here it's some metal over there but it's 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 not very very beautiful I, I don't really like this phone it's it's not the best well designed phone over here on the back as you can see the camera comes on top and you can scratch it because you you put your phone on the table like this 
and uh, then it will be scratched and you won't take great photos well you have uh, some apps being sold and you have access to Google Play like all Android phones and you have FM radio and um, there is a file manager pre-installed and you also have DLNA technology to connect with your TV and um, well you have a backup and restore app well where is it it's backup and restore and you, let's take a look at the browser Well, it's it's big and and clear and you can read it on your phone and this this screen is really great but you cannot control it with just one hand it's it's really d difficult to go from one side to other side of the phone with just one hand you just need two hands to control this huge screen and it's not really easy when you are out the version of this Android it's uh, 4.1 it's not the latest update but well, we, we don't really know when it will be updated or if it will be updated. Well, one other thing is that there is no multitasking button. You have three buttons to multitask, you have to press this button. Well, we like phones with the multitasking button. This button is really useless, so it's better to have the multitasking button here and uh, press it and go to multitasking as with these huge fast phones well this phone has a dual core processor but there is also a quad core version and the quad core version has 2 GB of RAM this phone has 1 GB of RAM and is dual core well it's the design is, is not as good as in other phones but in general rules we like this phone because it has a great big screen and has a great big battery with a lot of power and uh, it not as expensive as premium phones so if you want the biggest screen with the lowest money this is your choice it's ZTE Grand Mimo